Um, I don't want to waste much uh, of your time. I just want us to go into the word of God. Um, the title of my message uh, today is Scaling Heights. Scaling Heights. I'll first read uh, from the book of Isaiah. I want to read from the book of Isaiah. Isaiah chapter 2. Isaiah chapter 2. Isaiah chapter 2 Are we all there? Isaiah chapter 2 From verse 1 Isaiah chapter 2 from this one. Isaiah chapter 2 from this one. I shall read. The word that Isaiah, the son of Amos, saw concerning Judah and Jerusalem. Verse 2. And it shall come to pass. In the last days, that the mountain of the Lord's house shall be established in the top of the mountains and shall be exalted above the hills, and all nations shall flow unto it. Verse 3. the mountain of the Lord to the house of the God of Jacob and he will teach us of his ways and we will walk in his paths for out of Zion shall go forth the law and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem Hallelujah Can someone say let us go up to the mountain of the Lord Right. Um, let's go to Matthew as well. Let's go to Matthew. Matthew. Matthew chapter 17. Matthew 17. Matthew 17. And after six days, Verse 1, Matthew 17, verse 1. And after six days, Jesus taketh Peter, James, and John, his brother, and bringeth them up into a high mountain apart, and was transfigured before them. And his face did shine as the sun, and his raiment was white as the light. And behold, there appeared unto them Moses, and Elijah, and talking with him, they answered Peter and said unto Jesus, Lord, it is good for us to be here. If thou wilt, let us make here three tabernacles, one for thee, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. While he expect, behold, a bright cloud overshadowed, and behold, a voice out of the cloud which said, this is my beloved son, in whom I am well pleased. Hear ye him. And when the disciples heard him, they fell on their face, and they were so afraid 
and Jesus came and touched them and said, Arise and do not be afraid. And when they lifted up their eyes, they saw no man save Jesus only. And as they came down from the mountain, Jesus charged them, saying, Tell the vision to no man until the Son of Man be risen again from the dead. Okay, let us go uh, to the book of Joshua. Let's go to the book of Joshua. Let's go to the book of Joshua. Book of Joshua. Joshua chapter 14. Joshua chapter 14. Verse 11. From verse 11. Joshua chapter 14. From verse 11. As yet I am a strong in this day as I was. In the day that Moses sent me. As my strength was then, even so is my strength now. For war both to go out and to come in. Verse 12. Now, therefore, give me this mountain. Wherefore of the Lord speak in that day? For thou hadst in that day how the Arabs were there and that the cities were great and faint. If so, be the Lord who be with me, then I shall be able, I shall be able to drive them out, as the Lord said. Verse 13. And Joshua blessed him and gave unto Caleb the son of Je Jephna, Hebron for an inheritance. Hebron therefore became the inheritance of Caleb, the son of Jephne, the Kenesite, unto this day, because that you wholly followed the Lord God of Israel. Let us pray. Father, we thank you. You are a wonderful God. You are faithful, Lord Jesus. There is none like you, Father. We thank you, Lord, even for your word. Pray that you bless your word. I pray, God, that you help me, that I may explain this word to your children. I pray that through this message, someone's life can be transformed. Our lives will never be the same again. I thank you, Lord. You are wonderful and you are faithful. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Scaling heights. Right? First we read from the book of Isaiah. And the prophet Isaiah is saying the word of the Lord came. And this word was for Judah and Jerusalem. This word was not for everyone. This word, it was for Judah and for Jerusalem. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Sometimes God gives word. And the word cannot be for everyone. Sometimes the word can be just for specific people. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. And this word was not just for everyone. This word was for Judah. This word was for Jerusalem. We read from the book of Matthew that after six days, the Bible says, and Jesus took three of his disciples. He had twelve disciples. He had so many followers. But this time, Jesus took three of his disciples. He took Peter, he took James, and he took John. Hallelujah. Sometimes this God that we serve is a God of favor. Hallelujah. He can favor some people. Hallelujah. He favored these three guys. He had something special for these three guys. What was on the top of the mountain was not for everyone else. But it was just for three people. It was for Peter, it was for James, and it was for John. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The grace of God, what 
he chose Peter, James, and John. And he left the other disciples. Hallelujah. And he said to Peter, James, and John, let us go up on the top of the mountain. Hallelujah. It's our time to go at the top of the mountain. In this season, God has chosen governing children to go on top of the mountain. Hallelujah. He is not calling for everyone else, but he is calling for the governing faith ministry children. He is saying, let us scale the heights. He is saying, let us go on the top of the mountain. Hallelujah. Amen. Do not be worried about the other people. Do not be worried about the other churches. Do not be worried about certain people. But you must understand that when God is saying it's your time for favor, it is your time. No man can stop you because it is your time. Hallelujah. And God is saying, for you Judah and for you Jerusalem, I want you to listen to me. I want you to hear the voice of the Lord. This is the time that the Lord's house, that the mountain, the mountain of the Lord's house, amen, is going to be established upon all the other mountains. There are some other mountains that are there, but this season and this time, it is the time for the Lord's mountain to be established above all the other mountains. Yeah. 
in three of us. Yes. Why are you leaving the other nine? Jesus was transfigured. 
Jesus was transfigured. And they saw his face shining like sun. And the Bible says, and his raiment changed. The garment that he was wearing, it changed. His face changed. They saw something that they had never seen in their lives. Let me preach to someone. In this season that we are in is covered in faith medicine. You will see things that you have never seen in your life. You will experience the things that you have never experienced in your life. You will hear the things that you have never heard in your life. The Bible says no ear is heard. Yes. 
voice of God came and said, This is my beloved son. Hear him. The other vision is saying, Listen to him. The Bible says, All of a sudden, they were overshadowed by the cloud. And they were afraid. And when they opened their eyes, Elijah, Moses, they were nowhere to be found. They had disappeared. And only Jesus remained. Only Jesus. They could see only Jesus. Moses disappeared. Elijah disappeared. But only Jesus was there. Peter thought the best thing to do was to stay on the top of the mountain together with Moses, together with Jesus, together with Elijah. But God responded to Peter and said, Do not be worried about them, about the tabernacles. We are in the dispensation of grace. And in the dispensation of grace, the only thing that you must be worried about, it is about Jesus. You must listen to this voice. Do not be worried about building a tabernacle for Moses, about building a tabernacle for Elijah. Because everything that you need is in Jesus Christ saying, 
make us climb mountains. The disciples, they experienced amazing things when they got to the top of the mountain. I tell you, if Jesus, if you follow the voice of Jesus, he will not fail you. He will not disappoint you. He will make sure that he fulfills his word. Jesus Christ will make sure that the prophecies are fulfilled. He will make sure that what is written in the word of God, it is fulfilled. The word of God says that by the stripes of Jesus, you are healed. And I want you to believe that voice. Even when you feel pain on your leg, you must say, I am healed by the stripes of Jesus. Because that's what he is saying. Even when you don't have money in your wallet, you must believe the written word of God, which says, Jesus Christ, he was made poor so that you can be rich. Even without a man in your pocket, you must confess that I am rich. You must confess that I am blessed. You must confess that I belong to the top because that is what the word of God says. Hallelujah.
be strong in your faith. What Caleb said, he said, I feel that I am still as strong as I was in the days of Moses. So please allow me to go and take him. Allow me to go and possess this mountain. You must be strong in your faith. That's number one for you. Be strong in your faith. Don't be strong in anything else. But just be strong in your faith. You can be weak in your body, but be strong in your faith. You can be weak financially, but be strong in your faith. Yeah. Hallelujah. It's long 
As long as I live, as long as I, 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 I get where I want to get, no, as long as I am blessed. No, it's our time to go for the mountain. special things. 
things. They are also for you. They are not just for your neighbor. God is saying it's our season to possess it. Go and possess it. Be strong in your faith. My last scripture, Romans. Romans. Okay. Before God from the end, verse 14 of Joshua chapter 14, it says, Hebron therefore became the inheritance of Caleb, the son of Jephthah, the Kenesite unto this day, because that he only followed the God of Israel. It became Caleb's inheritance. Is 